Hi, this is James Van Prague, and thank you for joining me for another installment of Ask JVP, where I go throughout the internet and social media, Facebook, Twitter, emails from my website, and I go through the questions that you ask me, and I look at the most common questions, and I try to answer them the best I can. And in doing this, I want you also to realize that this is definitely my opinion, really based upon my experiences of so many years doing this work as a spiritual medium. So that's um, how I'm answering it. You might agree, you might not agree, that's fine. It's just my opinion from my experience. So the first question I want to answer here is from uh, Kathleen K. And she is from Twitter, and she asks, uh, what are ghosts and should we be afraid of them? Well, Kathleen, it's a good question. A lot of people wonder about ghosts. And of course, I did the show Ghost Whisperer, and I wrote a book called Ghosts Among Us to explain about ghosts. And from my understanding of ghosts, we have to realize that first and foremost, we are energy, and energy cannot die. Energy changes form. We are a spirit first and foremost, in case of this physical shell. And at the time of our death, or as I like to say, going back home to a spirit world, because this is our schoolroom down here. So when we graduate and leave the physical body, we are still very much energy, we're a spirit. And that spirit is really uh, coming from a place of very much mental activity. What we think, we create. And the environment we find ourselves immediately upon leaving the physical body is really a sense of the world around us and what we think. Uh, and our thoughts are such strong uh, instruments in bringing us to the next level. I know that there are some beings, some people, who leave the physical world maybe unprepared. Maybe they, they leave and they're not aware that they've passed out of the body, or some emotional charge happened. Let's say it's a mother who died in uh, giving birth to a baby. She might not want to go toward the light or to the other side because she feels she could be much better off helping her child if she stays close to her. Or perhaps there is a, a man who passes over and he didn't tell his wife where the insurance policy was and he wants to make sure she's taken care of. So he might hover close to the earth level and try to influence her, if you will. It's very much like the movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze. That's a great example of somebody who passes out of the body and they have unfinished business. They have to resolve certain business before they can feel they can pass to the higher levels of the spiritual realm. So to me, that's really what a ghost is. It's a spirit who's kind of stuck or stays very, very close to this earth world. Um, and I find that there are many, many people out there, we call them spirit rescuers, who will sit together in a, a circle, if you will, a meditation circle, and what their job is, what they sit for, is to really send out thoughts to help any of those spirits who are on a level close to the earth, who don't realize they've passed over, or have unfinished business, or any help that they can give these spirits to move on. And that's called a rescue circle, and many, many People do that throughout the world. So, uh, no reason to fear ghosts, uh, not at all. They're very, very um, alive, very aware. They're not out to hurt you. Uh, they're more afraid, I think, of, of you than them because sometimes they don't realize their situations. So, no, that's really all Hollywood and movies. You don't have to be afraid of ghosts, not at all. I think um, ghosts are just those who have not passed into that light. So, thank you very much for asking that question, and uh, we'll see you again next time on SJVP.